Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1753, founded by Benjamin Franklin, Pennsylvania Hospital becomes the first hospital in the United States. In 1759, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the first American life insurance company is incorporated. In 1987, two moons of Uranus are discovered, Titania and Oberon. In 1790, the Religious Society of Friends, known more commonly as the Quakers, petitions the U.S. Congress for abolition of slavery. In 1794, sessions of the United States Senate are open to the public. In 1805, the Michigan Territory is created. In 1809, Robert Fulton patents the steamboat. In 1811, President Madison prohibits trade with Britain for the third time in four years. In 1812, Massachusetts Governor Elbridge Gerry signs a law that redistricts the state to the advantage of his party, causing opponents to coin the term gerrymandering. In 1826, University College London is founded under the name the University of London. In 1837, the American Physiological Society organizes in Boston. In 1847, American inventor Thomas Edison is born. In 1852, the first British public female toilet opens on Bedford Street in London. In 1858, 14-year-old Bernadette Sabiru has her first vision of the Virgin Mary near Lourdes, France. In 1861, the United States House of Representatives unanimously passes a resolution guaranteeing non-interference with slavery in any state. Also in 1861, Alabama secedes from the United States. In 1861 as well, President-elect Abraham Lincoln takes the train for the first time from his home in Springfield, Illinois to the White House in Washington, D.C. In 1878, the first weekly weather report is published in the UK. 1878, it's amazing how long they have been getting the weather report wrong. In 1895, Georgetown became part of Washington, D.C. on this day. In 1899, it was negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit in Washington, D.C. and negative 61 degrees in Montana. Also in 1899, George Morgan is the first English motorist to die in a motor car accident. In 1905, James Blackstone of Seattle, Washington bowls a nearly perfect 299 and a half out of 300. His last pin breaks, but the bottom stayed standing. In 1908, the Grand Canyon National Park is created. In 1912, immigrant textile workers in Lawrence, Massachusetts go on strike when wages are reduced in response to a mandated shortening of the work week. In 1916, Emma Goldman is arrested for lecturing on birth control. Also in 1916, the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra presents its first concert. In 1919, Romania reincorporates Transylvania. Good! Dracula got to come home, I guess. In 1921, the Ambassador Theater opens in New York City. In 1922, today was the first use of insulin to treat diabetes in a human patient. Also in 1922, April Showers by Al Jolson hits number one on the music charts. In 1926, serious actor who became a straight-faced funny man, Leslie Nielsen was born. But don't call him Shirley. In 1927, Louis B. Mayer, the head of film studio MGM, announces the creation of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. That is the group that now gives out the Oscars. In 1928, the second Winter Olympics Games opens in St. Moritz, Switzerland. In 1929, a committee meets in Paris to discuss the Young Plan, which was a renegotiation of reparations Germany still owed for World War I. Also in 1929, Italy officially recognizes papal sovereignty over Vatican City. In 1934, Manuel Noriega is born. He was the former leader of Panama. In 1935, Amelia Earhart becomes the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to California. In 1936, actor Burt Reynolds was born. Also in 1936, construction begins on Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay. In 1937, a sit-down strike ends when General Motors recognizes the United Auto Workers Union. In 1938, the BBC first broadcasts Carol Capek's R.U.R., 
which was the world's first science fiction TV program. It also gave us the word robot. In 1942, the Archie comic books debut. In 1943, General Dwight Eisenhower is selected to command the Allied armies in Europe. Also in 1943, the United States and United Kingdom give up territorial rights in China. In 1948, the Yalta Conference between Allied leaders comes to an end. In 1949, Love Sick Blues is released by Hank Williams and becomes the cash box best hillbilly record of the year and Billboard's Song of the Year for 1949. In 1950, Rag Mop by the Ames Brothers hits number one on the music charts. In 1951, Marshall Teague drove a Hudson Hornet to victory at the Daytona Grand National in Daytona Beach, Florida. In 1953, President Dwight Eisenhower refuses a clemency appeal for convicted spies Ethel and Julius Rosenberg. In 1958, auto racer Marshall Teague, hey, didn't we just hear about him? Well, he dies in Daytona when trying to set a new speed record. Also in 1958, Ruth Carol Taylor is the first African-American woman to be hired as a flight attendant. In 1960, Jack Parr walks off of his TV show because NBC had censored a joke the night before. In 1962, an avalanche in Peru causes 4,000 deaths. In 1963, the Beatles record 10 tracks for their first album, including Please Please Me. Also in 1963, American chef Julia Child show The French Chef premieres. In 1964, American politician Sarah Palin is born. Also in 1964, the Surgeon General of the United States publishes a landmark report stating, for the first time, that smoking may be hazardous to your health. In 1966, San Francisco giant Willie Mays signs a contract for $130,000 per year, which is over $1 million in 2022 money. In 1969, actress Jennifer Aniston is born. In 1970, Mount Washington, New Hampshire receives 10.38 inches of rain. In 1971, 87 countries, including the US, UK, and USSR, signed the Seabed Treaty, outlawing nuclear weapons on the ocean floor in international waters. In 1973, the first release of American prisoners of war from Vietnam takes place. Also in 1973, Major League Baseball owners vote, approving the American League adopting the designated hitter position. In 1974, Minnesota Twins pitcher Dick Woodson is the first of 48 to invoke Major League Baseball's new arbitration rule. In 1975, Margaret Thatcher becomes first female Prime Minister of Great Britain. In 1976, Clifford Alexander Jr. is confirmed as the first African American Secretary of the Army. In 1977, a nearly 45 pound lobster is caught off of Nova Scotia. I hope they released him. In 1978, the People's Republic of China lifts a censorship ban on works by Aristotle, William Shakespeare, and Charles Dickens. Also in 1978, a Pacific Western Airlines flight crashes, killing 43 people. There was a snowplow on the runway when the jet was trying to land. In 1979, the Ayatollah Khomeini seizes power in Iran. Also in 1979, 43 million people watch Elvis on ABC. In 1981, 100,000 U.S. gallons of radioactive coolant leak into the containment building of a nuclear plant in Tennessee. Eight workers are contaminated. In 1983, Weird Al Yankovic records Ricky and Buckingham Blues for his debut LP. Also in 1983, Bonnie Tyler's single, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Is released. In 1985, Kent Herbeck signs a five-year, six million dollar contract with the Minnesota Twins. In 1989, Barbara Harris becomes the first female Anglican bishop. In 1990, Nelson Mandela is actually freed after 27 years. Also in 1990, heavyweight boxing champ Mike Tyson loses the title when he is knocked out in the 10th round in a fight with Buster Douglas in Tokyo, Japan. In 1993, Janet Reno is named by President Bill Clinton as the first woman to hold the position of U.S. Attorney General. In 1994, Lou Parker of South Carolina is crowned the 43rd Miss USA. 
In 1985, the Space Shuttle Discovery touches down at Cape Canaveral, Florida, ending a mission that included docking with the Russian Mir space station. In 1997, just two years later, the Space Shuttle Discovery is launched on a mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. Also in 1997, Celine Dion receives an award for her 50 millionth record sold. In 1998, lyrics to Elton John's Candle in the Wind 1997, honoring Princess Diana, is auctioned for $442,500. In 1999, in Afghanistan, a 6.0 earthquake kills 70 and 500 more are injured, with at least 1,400 left homeless and 7,000 homes destroyed. 2006, U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney accidentally shoots his friend and lawyer, Harry Whittington, in the face with a shotgun on a South Texas ranch. In 2007, the 49th Grammy Awards are broadcast. Carrie Underwood's Not Ready to Make Nice wins. In 2011, Egyptian President Mubarak steps down after 30 years in power due to uprisings known as the Arab Spring. In 2012, singer Whitney Houston passes away. In 2013, Pope Benedict XVI announces his resignation, becoming the first pope to resign since 1415. In 2020, the World Health Organization names the new pandemic COVID-19. Also in 2020, snow falls in Baghdad, Iraq for only the second time in a century. In 2021, the world's second oldest person, French nun Sister Andre, celebrates her 117th birthday after surviving COVID-19. Also in 2021, the UK Kent COVID-19 strain is set to sweep the world and become the dominant strain globally, according to UK scientist Sharon Peacock, after the strain is detected in over 50 other countries. It is later renamed the Alpha Strain. If you want to go grab something to drink, I'll get a few more videos ready. Hey, hurry up. They're ready.